Does it make more sense to put 20% down or 3.5% down? Conventional wisdom will tell us 20% because it removes mortgage insurance, makes your payment more affordable, and the overall cost of the home is less after 30 years. But that isn't always the best option. I'm going to run you through a scenario of someone looking to purchase a $500,000 home at an interest rate at 3%. So for 20% down, that's $100,000 down. Your payment and interest is going to be about $1,686. So the overall cost of this home after 30 years is going to be $707,110. Whereas if you put 3.5% down, that's $17,500. So your monthly payment in this scenario is $2,034. The overall cost of the home after 30 years is $832,326. Now, for the overall cost of the loan, yes, you're gonna save money with a 20% down, right? You save $125,216 after 30 years. But if you do have $100,000 down, does it make sense to put it down? It really depends on your risk tolerance because you can earn a much better return elsewhere. I'm gonna run you through a scenario of someone putting the rest of that money, so the $82,500, over 30 years into the stock market. And what we know about the stock market, the S&P 500 since its inception has yielded over 10% annual return. And in the last 10 years, over 11%. So we're gonna say a 10% annual return in this scenario. After 30 years, that $82,500 will compound to be 1439000 $575. So does it really make more sense to put 20% down to save $125,000 where you can make $1.4 million? That's really the question that you need to ask yourself, right? The most important thing when purchasing a home and what I always recommend is what's a comfortable monthly payment? So if a comfortable monthly payment for you is $1,686, by all means, put 20% down because the last thing I would want you to do is default on your home or struggle to make the payments month after month. But if you can afford to pay $2,034 comfortably and you have that extra money, it might make sense to explore investing it either into the stock market or other endeavors. Again, this is Anthony. If you have any questions, just let me know. And as always, take care and stay safe.